News Talk. Now, passengers have been left frustrated this week amid a series of cancellations and delays in Dublin Airport as a result of the cold weather. And Owen Curry, editor of Air and Travel magazine, joins us. Owen, how bad have things been? We've seen lots of videos across social media, I suppose, of people delayed. Is this a situation that's occurring across the board? Uh, good morning. It's been a terrible week since Friday and a load of different reasons. But the numbers of passengers that have been affected are quite, at this stage, they're quite enormous. 20,000 Friday alone, about 8,000 Saturday. And we had about uh, 6,000 yesterday. To put that in context, 1,400 people missed their flights with that uh, terrible day with the security queues back in May in Dublin Airport. The numbers we're dealing with now are very, very large. And a lot of people, as you uh, Uh, note mentioned taking quite a few days to get back to where they're supposed to be there are people out there who've been trying to get to where they're supposed to be since friday okay so this is this is a multiples of of what happened in the summer are some of these things own knock-on effects that if there's a glut of passengers who didn't get out on of a tuesday that they have to be sort of shoehorned in somewhere on the wednesday and the thursday it is does it work like that do backlogs have to be sort of accommodated And that has knock on effects. Absolutely. You know, if you've got 20,000 passengers from one day still waiting to be moved, capacity at this time of the year is lower, obviously, than it would be uh, during summer. It's it's generally until you actually hit Christmas week, it's a fairly quiet time for air travel and the number of flights isn't that high. It would be about just over 200, between 200, 250 a day uh, departures from Dublin Airport. But that means that mopping up is a little bit more complicated and a little bit slower, particularly if you run into further postponements and delays. And and Owen, just lastly, maybe what are people entitled to if they find themselves in this position? I have seen, as I say, on social media, people saying that they're in the airport at all hours because flights have been cancelled or delayed. There's nothing open. There's no food. It's not even that they can be compensated and go off and get a coffee or something because there's there's nowhere available to them. Uh, What kind of rights do people have who find themselves in this position? Absolutely clear cut. The uh, the airline is contracted to get you to where you're supposed to be as quickly as they can. Now, obviously, um, there there are uh, passengers booking their own, making their own way when things start start breaking down. Keep the receipts and put the claim in to the airline. In the old days, the airline bussed everyone to a hotel, put them up and usually got a, a flight out the following day. But the way aviation has evolved hasn't really uh, hasn't really supported that. Even the traditional flag carrying airlines and Aer Lingus and British Airways have uh, been responsible for a lot of the delays as well. Some are, airlines are better than others. The very important that you get your information from the airline. Uh, third party apps and there are lots of them out there are giving. Sometimes the flight is cancelled when the airline has decided uh, to have a go- to reschedule it. Okay, okay. that's happened on Saturday and and on Sunday as well. But your rights are are clear cut. They have to get you to where you are. And if you have to make a decision to go to a hotel, keep the receipts because consumer law has come down very firmly on the side of the passenger. So you have rights, you have rights to get your flights replaced and maybe for accommodation, depending on how long you're delayed. But do you have rights to things like food? If if people, if people, you know, are are, are eating meals, maybe unexpectedly because they're starving because they're sitting there for six hours. Absolutely. There's a sliding scale under the famous EU 261 one, which gives you rights to cups of coffee, things like that. But it's it's um, there there is a a fairly uh, um, standard. Uh, procedure now that has developed even since COVID, that airlines are ha- are not unhappy to see uh, passengers make their own the bills afterwards. In fact, um, it's something that they resisted um, for a while and now seem much more conducive okay. to. And if there's any dispute, there is a you know, government appointed arbiter, flightrights.ie, flightrights.ie. that will actually flightrights.ie and this is important because there's a whole load of other websites popping up with flight flight rights as a theme somewhere in them uh, that charge the passenger this is actually a free service okay. provided by a government appointed commissioner flight to go but go to the airline first sort it out with the airline and then if you're not happy there right. is an arbiter for you Owen, thank you so much for speaking to us on News Talk Breakfast this morning we do appreciate it that is Owen Corrie there editor of Air and Travel magazine